Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And so I'm back with a couple of new products and some older products. In fact, a couple of products that I just didn't know what to do with last year that I'm really enjoying this year. So um, starting off, um, as far as my primer, I have the Woe Glow by e.l.f., the Sunscreen in Sunbeam, and uh, this is their uh, glowy sunscreen. So that's what I have on as my primer. As far as my base, I have the Milani Glow On. Uh, this is a wonderful product that I got last year and I wasn't quite sure what to do with it. Um, it's 29% squalene and it has hyaluronic acid in it. It's very, very moisturizing. Um, but it does have it has a scent, a really coconut scent when it first goes on and it does dissipate. But um, if you want something that's really hydrating, I would suggest going with this. Um, it's also pretty glowy. I don't have any powder on right now and I do have this on. So it is glowy, but it's not glowy. And um, yeah, I just, this was one of the ones that I got last year and I wasn't quite sure what how to work with it but every time I wanted something moisturizing I kept on going back to it so I think it's a really good product um, see what else do I have on that the NYX Thick It Stick It in Light Ash Brown and the Superhero It Cosmetics um, yeah mascara and then as far as what I have on the eyes I have the Garden of Juvia's on here and um like I said, I I just have a feeling this palette is going to be a favorite. Um, what I did was, um, I have worn it a couple of times, but it took me, you know, a little bit of thinking before I saw that if you put the yellow or this, yeah, the yellow with on the, as a base and the daffodils on top, you get a really, it, it really concentrate, it makes yeah the colors just pop and concentrates it and yeah that's what i'm trying to say so today um on the lid i have um this as my base and then the daffodils on top um i did go ahead and put the lucky clover in my crease then with uh this shade the money tree on top and then i put some of the blooming uh right under the brow just to just to give it some sparkle. Not that it doesn't already have some sparkle, but um, yeah, beautiful palette. And this is the way that the eye look turned out. So if you wanna give it more color and that pop, um, definitely put the corresponding color, like this green underneath the, um, the glimmer, or yeah, the glimmer, and then it'll make it a lot it'll make it pop more and um, so I didn't realize that's what this palette was doing until now it took me a couple of tries um, as far as what I went ahead and got that was new well I have one more here um, so this is it's called two dodo these are on the Tim you um, website and that's what I have on as far as a lipstick it's a matte it dries, but it doesn't dry where it uh, makes you... It, <clears throat> it's a nice formula. It doesn't make your lips feel cracked or, you know, dry or anything. So it is a matte. It's a velvety matte. But I think they're cute. I um, may actually get some more of those. So what I got that was new. And this is from Revolution. These are their... Um, there are balm blushes. You can actually use them as blush. Um, and you can, they say you can also use them on lips and cheeks as well. So this is the peach one. And I got three. Um, I, this is the plum one. And then this is the rose one. And I haven't put anything on my cheeks yet. Um, I have worn them a couple of times. I don't think they have the best staying power. Um, they are really pretty, but they aren't 
gonna I don't think they'd stay for a 12 hour day or a 14 hour day um, if in that case you might want to take you know this is the base and then put a powder over it if you wanted to do that but I thought I'd show you see I did crack the crack the seal on the top of it and then this is what it looks like as far as uh, the way that it applies So I think the peach is the most pigment of all, pigmented of them all. And like I said, that's what it looks like. And then I think I'll go ahead and um, do, well, why don't we go ahead and do the plum on the other side? See, it it's really sheer and it's hard to, well, I don't know. So let's go ahead and do this. And again, I cracked the the top of it. And um, so this is the plum. And again, that's the way that it goes on at first. And then as you see, they, um, you do have to apply a little bit more. So let's go for a second layer over here. So there's that, and then, um, yeah. So you can, uh, they're there, and they're pretty, and they're very sheer, and they give you a really pretty glow. Um, just if you want them to last throughout the day, um, I would definitely go ahead and put a, a powder over the top. Um, this is the Essence Pure Nude, uh, the Shimmering Rose. But yeah, um, let's see, see how pigmented that was when I first put it on, and it definitely is sinking into the skin, and it's definitely not as pigmented as it was. So um, yeah, they're fun. Uh, definitely, if you're going to be out and not you know, not worrying about makeup or any of that stuff, then, um, yeah, I think they're fun. Um, but like I said, they're pretty sheer, and you definitely need two coats of them. Um, what else was I going to do? I'm just going to go ahead and see how the bronzer went with it. Uh, this is the Sunrise Bronzer by Flower Beauty. Add, in, add some of this in. Naturally, that, that gave it some more color. Yeah, that helped it out. We'll just finish up here. So they are pretty. They do show up. Uh, you do need a couple layers if you want them to last. You probably need to go ahead and put um, a powder over it. But uh, yeah, I think they're fun. Um, they don't, I went through the website, they don't say that they have any skincare advantage like the Jones Road, the Jones Road ones do. Um, but, you know, they're a different look and they're a fun, glowy look for the summertime. And this uh, look, I think, got, yeah, just about as glowy as it can be. Um, I think I want to go ahead and just use some of the peach over here on the purple side.
And then I'll go ahead and use some of the purple on the peach side to just sort of even it all out. And hopefully I did that right. <laughs> I think I did anyway. So they did build and you can get, you know, um, just they are going to be sheer. They're not going to be, um, yeah. They are pretty sheer, but they are pretty fun. And um, I hope that you've enjoyed the video. Um, like I said, I haven't had any problems with them. Well, actually, we could do one more thing. Here, a test where you put all your hair here. And did it, some of it caught. I have a couple pieces here that caught. Um, so it is a little bit sticky, but as far as uh, getting rid of some of the stickiness, and I'm going to go ahead and use some of the glowish powder here. And get my brush. So it wasn't that sticky, but let's do some powder just to make sure. And this is a glowish and fair. So to me, this is a new product. I know that I've been kind of, well, it sort of does this and it kind of does that. Um, but um, it is definitely going to be a fun one for summertime that you don't need to worry about. And there we go. So, yeah, that's the way it's looking. That and like that. And um, I hope that you have a good day. Uh, you might want to go ahead and pick these up. I'm going to continue playing with them. I think they're fun. And uh, so you can get these on Alta or over at the Revolution website. Those are the two places that I found them. And like I said, I hope you have a good day. And I'll see you later. Bye.